What's up, bitches? This episode's a holiday special because Pi Day was yesterday. So in honor of yesterday being National Pi Day, we're going to be making a very relevant treat today. Psych! This is the Steak and Blowjob Day special, which was also yesterday! So, in order to make a proper steak and blowjob steak steak, you gotta- Psych! That's not what we're celebrating! This is for Sasha Gray's birthday, which is today! <laughs> So if there's two things that I know women love, it's salads and Girl Scout cookies and maybe cigarettes because my mommy smoked a lot, but yeah, we're making cookies. Here's a list of all the shit you'll need. Sorry about that break, everyone. Baby slut got his dick stuck in the ceiling fan again. <laughs> the wacky son of a bitch. But, uh, I had to rush him to the emergency room. But we're back, bitches. Now, back to the kitchen. Here's everything you will need. First, you gotta mix together the flour, baking powder, and salt, and just sort of whisk it with a fork. Like so. Alright, now you gotta add the sugar to the butter bowl, and mix it until it is fluffy. Once this is all mixed up, you gotta pour it into the flour bowl. And then you gotta mix that up too. Probably with a whisk, I guess. Now you have to add in the uh, vanilla extract and milk and it's going to start getting chunky. You might have to use your hands to sort of like get in there and really mix it all up. On a related note, using your hands to really get in there and mix it up a lot is also the advice I give for finger banging someone. Anyway, you're probably going to want to just like flatten this and put it in the freezer for a few minutes. So yeah, flatten it, put saran wrap on it, and then you put it in the fridge for like an hour. Or the freezer for 20 minutes. While we're waiting for the dough to chill, let's answer some fan mail. Tia from London asks, Chef Daddy, what's the hardest thing about cooking? <laughs> the answer to that is, my erection. Now your dough should be like, properly chilled or frozen or whatever. Yep, we're good. Now you've got to flatten the dough with a rolling pin, or if you can't find a rolling pin like me, just use a cylindrical bottle. This one's full of ginger. Once your dough is all flat, it's time to cut the cookie shapes out. Okay, so I think I did something wrong because the recipe said it would make 24, and I've got like 12. Oh well. The great thing about these cookies is that they taste just like Girl Scout cookies, which is good if you're not allowed to talk to Girl Scouts anymore, like I am. The reason I got a lifetime ban from talking to Girl Scouts is because they asked how many boxes of Thin Mints I want, and I just said, fuck me up, fam. Your oven's all hot and bothered, you just gotta stick those raw sons of bitches in and, you know, bake them. Gotta toast a cup and a half of coconut flakes on the stove until they're like golden brown. Quick update, I can't talk in the kitchen anymore because my parents are watching Crimson Peaky in the other room and it's actually a really good movie. And also the caramel requires like split second timing before it cools and hardens. On the bright side, we also have some new fan mail. Corin K from Ireland asks, is this recipe gonna suck? <laughs> Not as much as your parents' marriage, bitch! <laughs> okay, I might have fucked up. This is what they were supposed to look like. And this is what mine looks like. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, not bad. Okay, so it's not like appealing to look at, but it tastes good. Like vagina. Thus ends another episode of Chef Daddy, the Guantanamo Bay of cooking shows. So I'm gonna wrap this up real quick by saying, Happy birthday, Sasha.